I present one of the world's biggest car shows on television. Every single week I give people advice and tips on how to buy a second-hand car. Tips like go and see it, get in front of it, get inside it, sit in the driver's seat, have a good look around it, start the engine up, listen to it, listen for those knocks or sounds that might give you a little red flag. Get behind the wheel, take it out for a spin, get on your hands and knees, get underneath it, have a proper good look. Make sure you're confident that it's a good car before you part with your hard-earned cash. It's great advice, advice that I stand by, advice that I would give anybody and absolutely 100% believe in. And yet I've just bought my dream car, it's over there. I bought my dream car, a second-hand car, without taking any of that advice. Because that car was delivered to me today, and that's the very first time that I've seen it. However, I bought this car from a good friend of mine. I bought it from a guy who I know has the same level of attention to detail that I have. A guy that I know that when he was restoring this car, did it with that focus that I would have had if I was doing it myself, knowing that everything just had to be right. And because of that, when it turned up today, I wasn't disappointed. Do you want to come and have a look? In 1979, this is my Mercedes-Benz 350 SL, finished in that beautiful Inca red metallic paint. I saw this car for the very first time this afternoon when I collected it. I drove it for the very first time, bringing it back to my house this afternoon and the smile on my face that you see right now has been there since that moment. And what's amazing about this car is that it hasn't just put a smile on my face, it's put a smile onto the face of every other person that I've driven past in the sunshine today too. And over the next few weeks, in a series of videos on this YouTube channel, I'm going to talk about some of the details that are in this car. And that's what this car's all about, details. Yes, it looks beautiful. It's in that beautiful paint color, which is the original color of the car. It's got the original tread pattern on the tires. It's got the original radio. It's had a radiator, an oil cooler, made by hand at great expense because the original ones from Mercedes are no longer available. This car is as original as it can be here in 2023, given that it's now 43 years old. So to me, the details matter. And because I know those same details matter to my friend who's done the restoration on this car, that's why I had the confidence to buy it without even seeing it. Now this car's not finished, it's not perfect, it's not concourse, but you tell me a car that is perfect. There is no such thing. There are a number of jobs that I'm still able to do on this car, and come on, you expect me to buy a car that I couldn't work on? There's a number of things that I want to finish off on it, a number of details that I want to put into the car, put my own finishing touches to this car. It's the very first time in my life that I have been able to buy a car that's not simply about getting from A to B, and I'm really proud of that. It's got a removable hard top with a soft top that retracts and on a sunny day, driving along with the roof down is something, well, it's gonna bring joy to me and others around me. And that's why I've bought this car. Yes, it's an investment. Yes, it's a place to put some money and I'm very fortunate and lucky and grateful that I've been able to do that. But I'm also going to really enjoy it. It's gonna become my pride and joy. It already is and I've only owned it for a few hours. I have hundreds and hundreds of detailed pictures of the restoration process behind this car and there are some fascinating stories to lots of little detailed areas around the car that I can't wait to share with you. I may even bring in my friend, the guy that owned the car before me. Some of you will already know him 
and I will leave it at that. I feel a sense of responsibility to look after it, to preserve it, and to try and make it even better than it already is. I'd love it if you follow along with this journey with me. So keep an eye on the channel, subscribe if you're not already, hit like on the video if you like the car, if you can appreciate a car like this in all of its elegance. That's what it is, it's elegant. It's not an outright sports car, it's got a brilliant 3.5 litre V8 in the front, but that's not about tearing down the road at speed, it's about cruising down the road with an air of elegance and sophistication. And that's me all over, right? <laughs> Follow along with the journey, hit subscribe, and join me again in a video soon to get more details on this beautiful car.